Hi, my name is Joshua Bennett, Product Manager at Tide, and I'm here today to explain to you how to troubleshoot your system if it's not flushing or if you're having issues with the flush button at all. So the first thing to know is that you are going to need to get to the inside of your system, and in order to do that, you're going to need to take the furniture panel off if it's behind a furniture suite, or into the access panels itself. And because of that, you're going to need to isolate water supplies as well, potentially, and therefore you must be a competent DIY person. If you're not comfortable with that, please call the plumber. Most plumbers are familiar with our products and they'll be able to troubleshoot and fix the problem for you. So the first thing is to identify, is it actually one of our products? We do get calls about other people's products. We want to identify, is it ours first of all? The easiest way is to look at the system. Does it have any Dudley markings on the system or inside on the system fittings? As you can see with this Vantage Conceal System here, it has Dudley marking on the front. And typically we always use a green pneumatic flush valve with our concealed systems. That does have a TD mark on the top. Uh, and we also have a range of flush buttons that we offer with our concealed systems. This is the DO flush button, but we do also offer other flush buttons in the range, which we'll put on screen for you shortly. So the next step is to check the age of install. If you're not sure of the age of install, it's probably best to replace both parts, particularly if it's over five years old. Our standard warranty is one year. We do offer an extended warranty if you register the product online as well. So if you're unsure of the age of install, it's wise to possibly get replacement parts both for the flush valve and flush button because this product has been around for 15 years now. Let's firstly understand how a pneumatic flush valve works. And before you even do that, let's think about exactly how uh, your button is operating. If you have a full flush and reduced flush button, that is obviously a dual flush button. If you have a single flush button, it's one complete button with no two buttons within it. Obviously a full flush button will do a full flush, reduced flush button will do a reduced flush. Moving on to how the actual pneumatic valve works, you can prise the cap off and then see the bellows inside. If you press a full flush button, you'll lift the full flush bellow. And if you press the reduce flush button, you will lift the reduce flush bellow. And that in essence is how simple a pneumatic valve works. So one of the first easy checks you can do without much dismantling of the cistern or the internal fittings is check the connections for the tubes onto the spigots of the flush valve and the flush button. All you really need to do is take each tube off individually, cut a centimeter off each end to give a fresh connection. What can happen with age over five years plus they age harden and you do lose a little bit of air in the connection. Now in order to access this concealed system behind your furniture, you have a front panel which you can remove. In this case, I've already got a removable top panel. Usually these unclip as so and you can get access to the button. At this point, you don't need to disconnect the button. It can be helpful for access depending on your exact installation. But what we want to do first is check how the button is performing. In order to do that, and I'll just demonstrate here simply enough, is with the tubes disconnected from the flush valve, press your finger over the two spigot connector points. Then press the full flush button and do you feel resistance? And again, press the reduced flush button and do you feel resistance? If you don't feel resistance, then that is likely the button at fault, the piston seal has failed and it needs replacing due to wear and tear. So having checked the performance of the flush button, we're now going to move on to the combination of the flush button and the valve. In order to do this, it's best to isolate the water supply to the system. That can, can be done by using the inbuilt isolation valve. If there is one inside the system you're using, that's typical of our Vantage system. If not, you should be able to uh, uh, isolate the water supply externally. It's not critical, but what is gonna happen is when you remove that flush valve, it'll constantly fill. So, to remove the flush valve, it's very much like a bayonet fitting in the light bulb. You twist to unlock and release. And once you've released that flush valve, you can do some closer examination. So, in order to do this, and I've got a freestanding display here just to explain it a bit more easily, is with a flat bladed screwdriver, you can pop off the cap of the flush valve to reveal the bellows. And if your button is already disconnected, note that the so full circle is for the full flush and the half circle is for the reduced flush. Your green tube is your reduced flush connection and your clear tube is your full flush connection. So with those fresh connections you did earlier, 
push the hoses back on and remember to do those fresh connections on both the button and the valve. Now what you're looking for here is no air leak. So when you press the full flush button, does the bellow stay inflated? If it does not stay inflated when you're pressing the full flush button down and holding it down, then you might have an air leak either in the tubes, if you can connect it, you can provide the fresh connections, or in the bellows. And the same again for the reduced flush, press and hold, no air leak from that. If there was an air leak, all you need to do, and you've already done your fresh connections, just check first that those bellows are properly seated in place. Push with your thumb down, in place, onto the bellow, directly down, and the same with the other bellow. And then again, with the button connected, is the bellow staying inflated? If that is not working and you've tried pushing the bellows down, then it is likely there's a tear in the bellow that you may not be able to see, and it's worth replacing the whole valve. And we will provide part numbers at the end of this video to explain what part numbers to buy from us. So if you check the flush valve performance and you check the flush button performance and everything appears to work when it's fitted outside the system, but when you put it back inside the system, something isn't working, then it's likely there's a very uh, small chance for a fault that we can't diagnose and therefore we advise replacing both the button and valve. So moving on to some other checks you may wish to do whilst looking at the system. This water weight inside the flush valve governs how much reduced flush volume is let through the flush valve. So if you think your reduced flush is flushing more water than you think it should, it can be adjusted up. The higher up you go, the less water is flushed on the reduced flush cycle. To do this, you simply twist the water weight out of its seating, up to the desired seating, and then lock back into place. Now that is not something you should need to do for standard systems, but if you think your reduced flush is flushing more water, or nearly as much water as your full flush, you can adjust it with this flush valve. If you're experiencing water being let into the pan, that can be caused by the dynamic seal leaking. What happens over time, this silicon seal can have dirt stuck inside it or it can wear with time and you can replace this seal if required. If replacing the seal is still means there is a leak, then that is likely your inlet valve that has failed and we'll come to that in another video. When you're connecting the tubes back on, as mentioned in the earlier video with the flush button, you must ensure the green tube is connected to the reduced flush spigot connector both on the flush button and the flush valve and the same for the full flush. What we do here is sometimes people are saying they're getting a small flush when they press the reduced flush button. What we say is obviously to reverse the tube connections. Sometimes it's just on the button, it can be on the valve as well, it just depends on how it was fitted. When you finish servicing your system, fit the furniture panel back on. When you do so, and when fitting inside the system, make sure that the tubes aren't kinked in any way, as that will hinder performance. Just tuck them out of the way when you fit the furniture click it back on and you're good to go. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you did find it useful and you have any more questions, please put a comment in the comment section. Otherwise, do subscribe as we load more videos in the future.